it was very important for you to be able to control this area and the movements because the energy comes right from the roots up to your brain. So you can sit and think about it and do meditations for energy, which is very important. But it's even more powerful if you can actually move this and control it and align it with the rhythm. There's something to be said about that. And everything Apple dies for it, um, the drumming, the music, and the rhythm is very, very, very important. Everything that we do, even you see professional football players dancing in the end zone. Like, that's what we do. That's what black people, we dance for everything. And a lot of the dances, that the folklore dances that come from the Caribbean or from black America in general is linked to what people were doing in the field and their working and, you know, um, death rituals. And they often have um, many hip movements. So they, there's many different ways to look at things, but it's important to not feel shame and to be able to move it. Oh, I, I wanted to touch up on the imbalance of the muscles. A lot of people too, just because you hit the gym and you do weights, not necessarily means that you will be balancing your muscles because there's different reason why people go to the gym. Some people go to the gym just to put on muscles for show. A lot of people, they really do it for health purposes, so for them to be healthy. And if you're gonna be one of these people who go to the gym because you just wanna have muscles, I would also suggest that you run because running does the balancing for you because the run, running is, it balances all the opposite muscles from abs, lower back, hamstrings, glutes, quads, basically everything, arms, back, so, and I'm not just these people, for everybody, and I w I'm a sprinter, so I'm not good with long distance, but you always want to have a little bit of running in your workout, I would say that. And before you sprint, it's important first to make sure that you're doing squats and lunges and walking lunges so that you don't pull something, because sprinting takes strength, and if you're muscles are not, um, like if your, hand, if your quads are much stronger than your hamstrings and you start sprinting, a lot of times you end up with injuries. One thing, the difference between sprinting and, and distance running, um, when you sprint, you're, it's muscle building and fat burning at the same time. So if you look at the bodies of sprinters, they're usually very lean, but they're muscular. Whereas with distance running, now this depends on how much body fat somebody has to begin with and what they ate and stuff like that. But as a general statement, when you do a lot of distance running, and a lot is different depending on the person, but you start to burn muscle after a while. And so if you look at elite distance runners, they're often very thin, and um, you know sometimes they're even kind of caved in. So you don't want to lose muscle. You don't want to lose muscle. It's important, even if you do